Welcome to the channel everybody. For today's tutorial video we are going to be covering herb lore and the different plants of the unreal world. So first I'll say that there are nearly 50 different species of herbs, cultivated plants, berries, and mushrooms in the unreal world. Many of which can help you sustain yourself with valuable calories and fat content. Some of which will only fill you up but won't give you the necessary nutrients like fat to keep you alive others will help you heal yourself and some can kill you even if you are careless and eat a poisonous mushroom it can cause near instant death and speaking of mushrooms there's even one type that can send you into hallucination so I hope you guys are pumped for this edition of my tutorial series I do have several more of these videos check the description for the link to the the playlist and many other unreal world series i have as well also down below you're going to find a link to the wiki page which for this particular video about the different plant species i did refer to heavily and i'll point that out as we go but all right let's jump into the first subject we're going to talk about the herb lore skill itself and then we'll cover the plants and the different herbs of the unreal world all right so in order to find some herbs that my character is unfamiliar with i came over to one of the nearby settlements and this is a good tip i recommend for anybody out there because nearby don't go directly to the settlement because the villagers will get upset if you harvest plants or mushrooms from the direct area inside the settlement but if you go to neighboring spots you can see that they've cleared a lot of this land out and anywhere that it's kind of looks like a little field just zoom into one of these spots and you're guaranteed guaranteed to find a bunch of good herbs and sometimes even cultivated plants that they won't mind as long as there's no buildings or structures nearby you can pick whatever plants you come across so let's find a patch here it looks like this might be a patch of slimy cereals okay so this is perfect this is a plant that my character doesn't know here and whenever you encounter an herb or a plant or a mushroom no matter what it is if you lack that knowledge it's just going to give it some strange adjective so i'm also carrying around a few boxes of seeds here that i don't know you can see one of them is labeled as quaint the other one is labeled as whimsical so when you see one of those strangely labeled uh herbs or plants that's how you know that this is one you aren't familiar with and you don't have true knowledge of the plant yet of course that can change by using your herb lore skill so there's two ways to use your herb lore number one if you're carrying plants or herbs that you don't know in your inventory it will automatically open up your open up your inventory when you use it or if you are standing next to or on top of some plants which are unfamiliar you can use it in that way so let's try both of those here because one good thing to note about the herb lore spill uh i almost called it a spell it's a skill not a spell but one good thing about it is it can be used once an hour for each individual herb so again if you're unfamiliar with some keep them in your inventory the only thing to be careful of is not to eat them by accident if you have a bunch of food they will be kept with your foods too so just be wary of that don't accidentally eat the strange mushroom that you've been carrying around trying to identify but either way let's go ahead and use our herb lore skill on these seeds that i've got because i would like to discover what these are before i go and plant them Okay, so you can see, you might have uh, gone too quickly, but we'll do it again on the next box of seeds. A progress bar is going to pop up right here. It doesn't take very long. It's a very quick skill. And then the results will be listed down here in the dialog box. It says, you do not recognize what the birch bark basket of quaint seeds might be. So for that, like I said, we've, we've done it once now for that seed, but we should be able to do it again for the next one here so if we go to the whimsical pay attention make sure you notice the progress bar which is going to pop up and go really quick like i said it takes like a minute two minutes there that progress bar is important to identify whether or not you've actually used the skill because you can and now i could go back and unfortunately we didn't recognize what it was 
if you do at some point successfully identify using your herb lore, it'll pop up and the box will tell you one or more of the properties and give you the name of the uh, herb. But unfortunately, we didn't recognize it that time. Now, like I said, the progress bar is important because I can go back and try again right away. But there's no progress bar, which indicates that the skill wasn't actually used. It's too soon to use it. So now we need to wait an hour of in-game time, and we should be able to use it again on those two seeds. So that's why I'm carrying these around with me, because I purchased them from a village, but I still don't even know what they are. So I'd like to identify them before I plant them. Now, with the herb on the ground here next to me, I can do the same thing, but... The herb lore skill will recognize that there's a plant nearby and it pops up what direction do you want to examine so you could be surrounded by a bunch of herbs or standing on top of one but currently we're going to use the down arrow to try and identify what did it call it the slimy cereals that sounds kind of gross the fact that it calls it a cereal though makes me think that it's some sort of cultivated plant potentially Oh, look at that. So we got really lucky. We actually successfully identified barley. And it tells us it is edible. It is completely known to you. So what that means is there's no other hidden properties that we don't know about. So you can just discover partial information about a plant and not know it's true, all the uses it has. You'll have to accumulate that knowledge over time by experimenting with it. But barley, fortunately, is a pretty simple one. It's a cultivated plant. So we know it's edible and we know everything about it. So there we go. That has been listed, added to our knowledge pool. And we will permanently know what barley is now and always recognize. Okay, so for the last part of our discussion of herb lore, and then we're going to start talking about plants themselves. But for this, I just wanted to go to a pine mire, which is another really good spot here in open mire for locating herbs and plants and berries that you might want to pick or examine and as you see as soon as i zoom in there's a patch of berries right here i'm going to pull my character's view out a little bit so these are charming berries which is perfect we're going to take a look at these do we recognize them nope oh unfortunately we didn't recognize them now let me come to a patch of ah here we go heather this is exactly what i was looking for we're going to talk about heather here shortly when we get to the medicinal herbs this is one of the most useful plants in the game most definitely especially in terms of healing you can also eat it but the healing properties are the best but you can see my character if we look down here doesn't know it it's still just a funny grass for her let's go ahead and use our herb lore skill on it today or for this hour Oh, didn't look, recognize it, but the reason I came to the Heather patch is to tell you that the last thing you should know about herb lore is even if you, your character doesn't recognize what the plant is, but you as a player does know, oh, I've played Unreal World many times, I know this is Heather, I recognize it, and I also know what it does, then you can still use it for those purposes. So your player's not, your character's not going to get poisoned or anything like that, eating some strange herb, as long as you're certain you know what it is just as I'm about 90% certain that this patch right here is Heather. But um, unfortunately, I think it's still a little too early to harvest it. But um, that leads me into my next point. We're going to talk about plants. Each one of them, including the mushrooms and berries, have a different season, which they'll be available in time for you. And again, I'm not going to list every single one of them because there's nearly 50 in the game, but go to that wiki link because it does tell you the time of year if you're looking for something specific and also some of them can be regional too so they might only appear in certain parts of the map but that's all really great information now let's continue our discussion and talk about some specific details and plants that you're definitely going to want to utilize in your survival Okay, and for this final section of the video here, we are going to be discussing the specific types of plants and herbs that you can find in the Unreal World and some of the most helpful varieties. Now, one thing I will note is this isn't a tutorial about how to cultivate or an agricultural lesson, but I do plan on having a tutorial video for that specific subject in the future so subscribe to the channel if you'd like to catch that one and the many others that i will also be coming out with as time goes by but again let's talk about some of the plants now
Now, there's a few general things you should know. Number one, all berries you come across are edible. There are no poisonous berries in the Unreal world, so that's a good thing to know. But unfortunately, with berries, they don't offer a lot of serious nutrition. When I mentioned in the intro that there are plants you can eat which will fill you up, but don't actually provide the necessary nutrition, which means your starvation bar will continue to fill even if you're eating. Berries are one of those things. So they're great early game when you just need to fight off starvation so you're not suffering from physical effects of it, but they're not gonna sustain you long-term and you should really be looking for either a meat or some of the more nutritious plants because there are just a couple of plants in the game that actually can provide you with the fat you need to survive long term and there are some cultivated plants that you can use in recipes which to make breads and things like that which can also help to sustain you in lieu of meat or protein okay and speaking of very little nutrition value that brings me to mushrooms for some reason in the unreal world mushrooms also have almost no nutrition there's i would say the list of mushrooms it's about 50 percent edible and 50 percent poisonous again check the wiki and look on there if you want specifics of the mushroom types and things like that the no addies mushroom is the one that causes hallucinations so be very careful when consuming mushrooms there are some recipes that will call for mushrooms i've i've definitely had some with the mods i've played before but again, it's not a great food source to rely on in the real world because some of them will cause near instant death if you eat them. So be very careful with mushrooms, especially if you're just keeping them in your inventory to try and identify using your herb lore skill every hour. But let's talk about a very unique set of herbs these are the plantable herbs of course you've got the plants that can be cultivated we just looked at one which is barley uh hemp is another great one in fact that's probably the uh plant that you want to go for the most if you're looking to truly sustain yourself with plants hemp is where it's at it has the highest fat content i think of all the herbs or plants in the game so that's a big one but the cultivated plants make up their own section. There are some herbs, though, which you can also cultivate and plant yourself. Those are clayweed, nettle, sorrow, and yarrow. So those are all very, very helpful if you come across some of those in the wild and you have the ability to thresh them you should be able to collect some seeds from them as well. So again, this is all information I'm getting from the wiki. I'm not much of an agricultural player myself, but I do plan on having a deeper dive in the future. I'm going to do a series, a farming series at some point, but that's all I'll say about that. Now, the final type of plant we're going to talk about are the medicinal herbs, probably some of the most important ones. So if your character has an injury and you want to treat it, unfortunately, or fortunately, our current character doesn't have any so we don't need to actually go through this but it's a pretty straightforward process in terms of applying it the most important thing is the knowledge of which plants to use so out of the 50 or so total there's only about a handful you can use to heal or apply to wounds you can use burdock golden rod heather as i mentioned earlier is probably the best milkweed is also very good nettle stone crop and yarrow and of course you'll notice that nettle and yarrow are also a part of those plantable herbs so those might be really good to have in your garden or in your farm if you plan on going that route in your playthrough just because you can all you can eat them and use them to treat certain conditions and things of that nature all right and for the last thing i want to just mention here real quick once you do discover the full properties of an herb such as the burdock leaves i've got here it will show you a pretty comprehensive list of the things you can do with it when boiled for instance when applied topically you can see as mentioned burdock is one of those that will help you with wounds and things like that so this is all information which your character has permanently memorized and Final note, some things won't have a listing. So you might have complete knowledge of certain herbs, but they have no topical application or there's really no point in boiling them, for instance. So you just won't see a section like that. But as long as it says it's completely known to you, that means the list of 
knowledge is complete for that particular plant. But I hope that's helped you guys out there a little bit in sorting through some of the plants and things that you've uh, come across in the Unreal world, or hopefully you will come across if you're still new to the game and haven't quite gotten that far. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Did I leave anything out? Is there another subject you'd like to see me make a tutorial video about? I Please leave that down there below too. So anyway, guys, thank you again for stopping by. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more Unreal World content, and I will see you all on the next one.